So learning how to hit a tennis ball is actually not that difficult. If, with a few lessons, you can learn how to hit a solid ball, learn the swing, the basics of tennis. What makes tennis really difficult is time pressure, having to cover the court and deal with all kinds of shots while still making a good swing and having clean contact with the ball. You see, there's different heights. Once the ball is live, there's different heights, there's different spins. There's all this chaos that you have to manage. So the only way to deal with that chaos, that variety that's coming at us and still make clean contacts, good swings at the ball, is with good footwork. Good footwork and clean contacts go hand in hand. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you a simple and effective way for you to think about your footwork, train your footwork, and start making better contacts with the ball. If you are new to My Tennis HQ, we do tennis lessons, racket reviews, practices with pro players, and tennis content you won't find anywhere else. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. All right, let's talk about footwork. Obviously, we all know how important footwork is. I've said it a million times on, in this channel. I'm sure you've heard it on every single platform, every single, from every single coach you've ever played with. But what does good footwork even look like? What does that even mean? I think a lot of people don't even know what to look for. How, how do I make my footwork better? And that's what we're gonna do in this video. I want you to think about footwork a little bit differently. For me, footwork is nothing more than a, the means to an end. What's my end? To make clean contacts with the ball, to not improvise so much when I'm hitting, right? It almost feels like someone is hand feeding the ball to me, right? If we're hitting in a live ball situation, obviously that ball is never coming the same way. No one wants to hit the ball right to you so you make just clean contacts every time, right? You gotta be moving. <laughs> to make that happen. It is your job to move your feet into a position where you can hit the ball clean over and over. And very often we get caught up in our technique, our swings and all this stuff. We just, our feet are just paralyzed. They're not moving, right? And then it becomes impossible to actually execute the stroke that you learn. So if I go lefty here, which makes everything a little bit tougher, I'm not gonna think about my technique at all. I'm just going to try to create the space that I need. You see, split step, create the space that I need and try to catch that ball in front of me. I'm not worried too much about my technique. I know there are certain things on my swing that aren't great here, but I can still move, get it in that strike zone and then hit some good balls still. So when we think about footwork being this means to an end, right? Like we wanna hit the ball clean in our strike zone in front of us, right? And then we have to move accordingly back, forward, short, deep uh, to be able to do so. So here's how you train that. It's something that I've been kind of telling my, a lot of my lessons, especially more beginners. It's like, really think about, as soon as that ball is hit to you, where are you going to be positioned on court, where, meaning where your feet are going to be when you make that contact with the ball, right? Because the biggest difference between, you know, someone around my level and, and, and more amateurs is that in my head, as soon as the, the, the ball is hit to me, it, I don't even think about this, but I know exactly how many steps I need to, to give to hit the ball where I want to be. Like I'm gonna make a quick decision to where I wanna be hitting the ball. Let's hit a couple here. To where I wanna be hitting the ball. So I'm gonna step in on this one. I'm gonna back, stay put on this one. You know, I'm gonna step in on this one. I make that decision very quickly. I can almost visualize where I'm hitting the ball, again, with my feet, where my feet are, because I know I'm hitting the ball in front of me. I don't need to think about that. But with my feet, before I even make any movements. It's like second nature at this point for me, but for most people it isn't. So if you spend 10 minutes, not worry about anything else. Don't worry about your swing. Don't worry about anything. Just worry about clean contact, contact in front and moving your feet, thinking, almost visualizing immediately as your opponent hits the ball, where you need to be on the core to make that clean contact, right? So again, let's move into the to the lefty here, right? Which is a little bit more difficult 
obviously I had to back up a little bit, wasn't comfortable stepping in. This one I can step in, okay? So quickly, oh, back up. I didn't really need to back up, but I made that decision and it's okay. Here I just stay put. So I know how many steps I really need to give in order to be hitting those shots right at my strike zone. If that ball's coming in higher, I would have to back up. If the ball's coming in shorter, I have to move quickly to it. So there are two things that you really need to focus here. One, obviously, is the visualization. Almost like seeing yourself in the future hitting the ball the way you wanna, the way you wanna hit. And the second thing is making quick decisions with the feet. Something that I've talked a lot about on the channel, but sometimes we're so worried about like our shoulder turns and our swings, then we're hitting balls and we totally forget, oh, I have to get away from this ball. Or, oh, that ball is high. See, I actually moved too quickly on that one, but it's like, oh, it's short. And then you're hitting the ball like that. Completely unstable, not in a, in a good position. Stability is obviously key. So when you visualize yourself, it's like, oh, got to back up one step. Got to move up two steps. Here we go. Got to move up two steps. Got to stay put, just really turn and hit. Oh, a couple steps to the right couple steps forward see it's a couple steps you think covering the court is actually not that many steps as long as you you go quickly into the ball and make a quick decision to where you want to be where you hit and everything be becomes a lot slower and yes it may seem like kind of easy here for me but I actually tried this tip the for the first time with one of my lessons Bob shout out Bob He's in his 60s, gray hitter, but you know, every once in a while, it's a little bit late, kind of falling backwards on his shot. I was like, Bob, as soon as I hit it, visualize where you gotta be on the court to hit that ball. It might be short, it might be deep. Sometimes we have to move very quickly to the ball, but sometimes, it's feed me a slow ball. Sometimes it's actually, oh, it's a bit slower that you have to move, right? Away from me. A little bit slower, you, gotta, you need a bit of calmness to it, but then go a fastball. Fastball, I have to go quick, to get to that position. So, so footwork is not just this one speed, this one gear, right? We sometimes have to go a little bit slower, sometimes a little bit faster, but if we can visualize where we wanna hit it, again, Bob, after he started doing that, he, I was actually kind of hitting full out with him. I was like, what's happening now? He's like, yeah, things just gotta felt, feel a little bit slower. And that's the entire point, to make things slower. Again, if I go lefty here, things, everything feels a little bit faster, right? Everything is gonna feel a little bit faster. Jesus, that was terrible but I have to be on top of my game with my feet so I can create the space and hit the ball. Otherwise, everything is gonna feel too rushed, too difficult to deal with. Ooh, that was a good touch. So just some final thoughts here. Obviously, this is an oversimplification of footwork, there's a lot more to it. There's fundamentals that you need to learn. We have a full course on our winner circle, so we'll leave a link down below if you wanna learn everything about footwork. We have a, a full course on this. But when you are doing this exercise, I want you to fo focus on three like, fundamental things. One is keeping a nice wide base as you're playing, right? A, wider than your shoulders typically is a good way to do it. Nice wide base. Two, stay on your toes. Okay, I see too many people hitting the ball Gustavo hitting the ball, okay, and they go hit and heels. Oh, hit, heels. Like, no, that's just not it, right? We've gotta be, here, keep hitting. You gotta be nice on your toes. You see, I can move. Obviously, the split step is a must, but you see, I'm always on my toes up until the point I'm about to hit, right? So on your toes in between your shots makes everything a little bit easier. And number three is, Stay away from the bounce. Don't hog the bounce too much. I think sometimes, especially on slower balls, go slow. People are like, oh, they'll run fast and they, oh, they'll just hog the bounce of the ball. The reason why we play deep <laughs> is to make people have to play off the bounce because it's more difficult. So try to stay away from the bounce. Give yourself some space from the ball to bounce, get up, and then you're in your strike zone, right? So see, I'm away from the bounce, then I can move forward. Here we go. I know I'm not going to be too close. See, I had to back up here. So I'm not too close to the bounce. Oh, that one I have to move forward. A bit short. Oh, that one I back up a little bit. Didn't really need it, but see, staying away from the bounce. I can then time my strike nicely.
So keep visualizing where you need to be. Even if you're on a dead sprint trying to get there and hit an open stance shot, if you can visualize yourself doing that, you're actually, your body is gonna follow your brain, <laughs> you know, and you're gonna have a much better time getting to that shot, executing those, those difficult shots, staying in the match, and obviously hitting clean. Footwork, hitting clean, that's the, that's the entire point of today's lessons, and I want you guys hitting cleaner balls. So remember, good footwork equals clean strikes. Clean strikes probably will get you more wins. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.